This week I'm driving the ultimate in British luxury, the 2012 Jaguar XJL Portfolio. And as you can see here on the door, the official vehicle of Southern California's annual Brit Week, a program of events celebrating innovation and creativity between Britain and California. Hello again, this is Dave Erickson for TFLcar.com. Sit back, hold on, and see what $90,000 can buy you. Back in 2011, Jaguar gave this new 2012 XJL an extreme makeover. And oh my gosh, what was once a frumpy XJ is now a stunning, chic, and sexy part Aston Martin and part Jag XF top of the line cat. I dare you to name one car that competes with this Jaguar that so seamlessly blends the traditional British car virtues of old world luxury with new world chic. This new XJ comes in two variants. Mine is the long wheelbase model with a normally aspirated 385 horsepower Jaguar V8. That means this car has less power than the supercharged version. But what it lacks in horses, it makes up in backseat room and creature comforts. You gotta check out these wooden tray tables that fold out here in the back. I have to admit, I'm not sure how I would use these in the back of a luxury vehicle since I'm the one driving. Then again, if I had a chauffeur, that'd be a different story. But my passengers can also make use of these headphones to listen to a DVD that's playing in the headrest of either one of these seats. And even without the supercharger, this Jaguar can go from 0 to 60 in under 6 seconds. That's in part because it uses super light aluminum for its structure instead of steel. This is such a comfortable and quiet ride in the handling, top notch. It better be for 90 grand, right? I just can't get over all the different luxury items and options inside this vehicle. For example, you have the dual sunroof, something for the passengers in the back as well as the front, a sensor activated glove box, and the center console has a place for your USB and iPod so you can charge it, and the carpeted floor mats are a nice touch. I kind of feel like the King of England here behind the wheel of this Jaguar if the King of England were allowed to have a personal vehicle. This Jaguar is all about making a statement, and of course that statement is, I've made it big. And just like a fine hand-tailored London suit, it doesn't really matter how useful this is, but what it says about the owner. And this XJ whispers wealth. As far as competition, the BMW 7 Series, the Mercedes-Benz S-Class are just two premium European cars that directly compete with the XL. Both of those cars offer more technology, but less soul. They are also much more likely to be spotted in the wild. Not only is this Jaguar still relatively new, but you won't see it at every valet parking lot as Jaguar is still trying to convince the world that its cars not only look good, but are mechanically reliable as the German competition. The EPA says the 2012 Jaguar XJL gets 15 miles per gallon in the city, 22 on the highway. I'd say I've been getting about 17 in mixed driving. That's not bad for a car with this much power, but then again, if you're looking for a great fuel economy, this is certainly not the Jaguar for you. But if you can afford 90 grand, I'm guessing fuel economy is not your highest priority. The XJL is perhaps one of the sexiest and most handsome premium vehicles you can buy today. It doesn't scream wealth, instead it whispers it, while having both the technology and performance to back it up. The big question is, is it worth 90 grand? If it were my money and I had 90 grand to spend on a vehicle, I might go with the XJL, minus the sticker on the side. Until next time, this is Dave Erickson for TFLcar.com. Nissan Altima competes in what is the most crowded market segment, the midsize sedan. And the Toyota Camry leads that market segment. Over here, we have the brand new Passat, which is at the bottom of that segment, but has doubled sales in the last year because it's all new. And perhaps the car that has completely exploded the segment, 
is the Hyundai Sonata. So let's take all these for a ride and see how they compare to the new Nissan Altima.